Hey, what's up guys? Chris here. And uh, today I got something pretty cool to talk about with you guys. A uh, new product I got in. Um, it's been pretty crazy the past like uh, two weeks. Uh, we've had storms back to back and um, Milton just obliterated my hometown. Uh, so it's been kind of nuts. I've been super busy uh, trying to repair and recover from that. We are safe and everything like that. And, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's, um, reached out to me on Instagram and on YouTube, uh, <clears throat> giving me well wishes to the family and everything like that. I really do appreciate that. And, um, uh, just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, from, from my family to yours. I really do appreciate it. Um, I actually ordered this product, uh, before, Milton was even Milton. <laughs> I didn't even know about it uh, when I ordered this and it came after the hurricane. It got delayed because of it because um, shipping stuff down here to Florida was um, just kind of crazy. So anyways, um, this is coming from the James brand. Uh, this is my first product from them. I've never ordered anything from them and um, I'm actually really happy with it. So uh, anyways, uh, I got the uh, the Palmer. This is a little utility blade, an EDC utility blade. And we're gonna talk about this, but first I wanna go over the packaging. Um, first off, the, the packaging is just impeccable. It comes in, you know, it comes in like a little sleeve, so you remove the sleeve, right? And then uh, got this box right here, really nice. You got all your info right here. You guys can scan the QR code if you need to. I'm going to hold it up like that if you guys want to scan that. But uh, you got your product manual, all that, and it comes nestled in here really nicely. Really, really cool. And then they give you this little sleeve right here. You open it up. I went ahead and opened all this up, guys, just to save time. But in there, they give you a uh, nice little thank you card. You can pause that and read it if you want. Really cool. James, that's actually a... Uh, my middle name, <laughs> but uh, they give you a whole bunch of stickers and stuff, which is uh, pretty cool. And then they even give you another thing of stickers here too. So I might throw this on my Yeti, which would be uh, pretty cool. And then they give you another card in here too. So just impeccable packaging. Um, and the price on this is like 40 bucks guys, $40. Uh, that's really good. I know some people complain about the James brand with their pricing on some of their products. And I get it. Uh, some of their knives are really pricey. Um, I understand that. But this for $40, um, I think compared to a lot of other things out there on the market to other EDC utility blades, I think this is very competitive. And um I would definitely, I'm going to buy more and I'll explain why as I go on. Um, this is a, the Palmer isn't new, but this version, these versions are new. These are relatively new. Once I seen them, I had to get one. Uh, so they came out with these new clear plastic versions. They do have aluminum versions that are in different colors, but these new clear uh, retro kind of colors, they did it to remind you of like, Nintendo or Game Boy uh, type stuff, nostalgic. And um, as soon as I seen it, I knew I had to have one. And uh, this kind of reminds me of um, a friend of mine growing up, the uh, Nintendo 64 that he had. Um, I had the uh, Jungle Green uh, limited edition. He had the Japanese uh, limited edition um, see-through black version and uh, that's what it reminded me of so I went with uh, the see-through black but I am going to order the atomic purple for myself as well um, multiple reasons why I bought this number one uh, I love the size it's nice and thin it's coming in at two and a half ounces guys so it's very lightweight the full aluminum version is uh, three ounces so you're not really losing too much weight um, and as you can see, you're still getting a, a metal construction on the inside. So you're, you're not really losing any integrity on this thing. It's still going to be uh, very sturdy and everything. And it fills, fills the hand very well. Um, it's not, it's not too small. 
Um, I work warehouse. I've worked warehouse for uh, about 15 years. So I have a lot of experience with uh, box cutters and stuff like that. I use one every single day. Uh, and it's just... It, it, it fills the hand great. I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily need something super tiny. And uh, a lot of the, um, a lot of the EDC type uh, utility blades are really small. I like the size of this because I get a good grip. And then you come out, and here's the blade. Um, I know one thing I've seen people complain about is how far that blade comes out. I think anybody who has used a utility blade. Um, extensively will tell you this is the perfect amount of length uh, for a blade to come out. For me at least, I don't want half the razor blade to come out because when I'm opening up a package, uh, because the razor blades are so thin and because they cut like a laser, it's more opportunity for me to actually cut the product inside of the box. And uh, if I'm cutting up in my own package with my own product in there, it's just leaving more opportunity for me to mess up my own product. And I, I don't want to do that. So um, this is perfect. I think this is the perfect amount. Whenever I'm using my own knife to open up a package, I'm using about this much blade. Maybe even less. Actually, if I'm being honest, I am using probably about that much blade <laughs> when I'm uh, cutting open a package. So um, I know that some guys are like, well, what about when I'm breaking down boxes? Um, guys... I'm going to be completely 110% honest with you. When you see a YouTuber process, I'm processing, I'm using this term really loosely here, processing cardboard on a, on a video, that's for two very specific types of people. Number one, for a YouTube reviewer who reviews knives, they're doing that type of video to show you how a knife works works like the blade steel how it's maintaining its edge the edge geometry how it's slicing through the cardboard how well it's doing through thick cardboard thin cardboard um stuff like that that's mainly what those videos are for number two <clears throat> the other type of person is if you have a very unhealthy Amazon addiction and you just have a shitload of packages being delivered to your door all the time and you have to break down that much cardboard, you know, and, and you're just filling up your recycle bin like that, you know, then yes, I get it. But this is not made for that. This is just for opening up packages, for opening up clamshell packaging. This is great. For opening up your Amazon boxes, your Home Depot boxes that you order. Like, this is perfect for that. Um, you don't need to break down your box. You, you cut open your box, you flip it over, you cut the other side, you make it flat, and then you put it in the recycle bin. That's it. Like That's what these are made for. Um, I think this is a great companion to fit in your fifth pocket of your, jean, in your jeans. Um and if you're worried about the size, it will fit in the fifth pocket of your jeans. I fit it in there just fine, and it works great. Uh, the lanyard makes it great to retrieve it out of the fifth pocket of your jeans. I'm not a huge lanyard guy, but it's good for that. Um, it's very lightweight, very easy to do. Um, the other reason why I bought this <clears throat> is because of how easy it is to change the blades. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Boom, right here, you go to the middle, see how you have the little red indicator right here? Pull it out. That's it, you're done. That's it, it's done. Come here, red indicator, see this right here? Now I'm gonna go off camera because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, it's back in, push it all the way down, bring it back in, that's it, you're done. It took me two seconds. It would have taken me one second had I had to take it off camera. But that's it. That's how easy it is. So I can hand this to anybody or gift it to anybody and they can learn how to use it. One of the reasons why I wanted this so bad, I showed it to my wife. You know, my wife is not a, she's not a knife person. She's not an EDC person. Um, but she is a very practical person. Um, you know, she, she's carried an, an Olight i3T that I got her like three years ago because she likes it because it takes a 
AAA battery. It's super easy. She just replaces the battery when it dies and she uses it. It's an OD green. That's one of her favorite colors. And she uses that same light over and over and over again because she's a practical person. It just works for her, right? She saw me looking at these and she saw that I ordered one. She picked it up. And when I showed her how it works, and my wife works in retail like I do. I work warehouse, but my wife is a manager and she's worked in retail for 15 years as well. She uses a box cutter every single day. She saw this and loved it and thought it could be useful for her to carry every single day. And I've tried before. She liked the mini, uh, the uh, Benchmade mini bug out. She liked that, but the locking mechanisms and all that kind of different stuff, she gets too uncomfortable with those and gets too nervous trying to flip those open and flip them closed and stuff. And it just makes her uncomfortable. And if she's uncomfortable, she's not going to carry it. And it, it's just a waste of money. This super comfortable. It's what she's familiar with. She's used to opening up a box cutter like this all the time. So she was looking around. She saw the color. She really liked that turquoise color one, the see-through one. So I'm actually going to go back and pick up another one of these for her for Christmas this year and throw that in her stocking. And uh, that way she can carry one with her at work. So I'm going to order a few more of these um, so we can have them around the house because I've been carrying this one with me at work and I absolutely love it i think it's fantastic uh and for 40 bucks i just think it's a no-brainer um i know there's other options out there where you can get titanium and everything um i'm nostalgic i like the see-through design this smoked out black i think looks awesome with the green lanyard um i think it's a nice addition i liked all the colors on there honestly i'm not much of like a collector of stuff but i might just get all the colors just so I can have them and throw them in a bag, throw it in a pouch, have one in, you know, in a backpack, have one in my, in my sling bag and, and be good to go. Um, this is a, this is a home run from James brand. I'm not a fan of all of their products, but I am a huge fan of this. Um, I also like how the engraving, it's not on the plastic. It's actually on the metal on the inside. And the same thing over here on where it says James. It's on the metal on the inside, and you can just see through it with the plastic. I think that's a really nice touch how they did that. That's really cool. Just the little details like that. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that it's so easy to exchange uh, to just change out this blade. All you do is pull that out. That's it. It's super easy. So now when I buy my wife one of these, she doesn't have to worry about maintaining a blade. She doesn't have to worry about sharpening it. And you don't, I mean, yes, they do sell the um, replacement blades on their website. You can get those if you want to, but you can pick up a huge pack of them on Amazon. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, and just buy a pack and boom, you're set to go, you know, and just keep them in a bag or keep them at work, whatever, toolbox. And if it gets dull, all you got to do, take this, flip it around. Use the other side, then when both sides are dull, pull it out, then stick a fresh blade in there and just keep going and going. That's all you got to do. So, I, I love this thing. I think it's awesome. But yeah, this was uh, this is really cool to come home to uh, after the storm, and uh, I've been really excited about it. Um, money, money well spent. I was really surprised by this. I was not uh, expecting too much from this and uh that was a pleasant surprise so anyways guys uh that's gonna do it for this one though um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i was detail oriented enough it's late i'm kind of tired but um and it's just been a very very long week but i hope you guys uh enjoyed it and i hope you guys got all the information um that you could off of this Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to see more content like this. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.